St. Louis, Colorado, Colorado minus 130 to minus 135 home favorite, total five and a half uh, pretty much across the board here. It's very, very simple here in terms of what must happen. Colorado, to get in the playoffs, they not only have to win, but they must. They must win this game within 60 minutes. It has to be a regulation victory for the Colorado Avalanche. If this game goes to overtime or a shootout and St. Louis is allowed to get at least one point from this game, it gives St. Louis the playoff spot and Colorado would be out. So for Colorado, it's get this thing done uh, in 60 minutes in regulation. So to me, and I'm imploring you, think about this logically when you're handicapping this game. If you like the Colorado side, there is no reason for you to not be betting the regulation line. There's none. You you don't bet the full game line. You're going to get a better price with Colorado regulation because they need to win this game in regulation. They have to. They are pulling the goalie with a minute and a half to go if this game is 2-2 with a minute and a half to go in the third period. They're pulling the goalie. They need to win in regulation and get that 3-2 goal. So you can bet Colorado regulation for sure. That's what you should be doing uh, if you like the avalanche side. Problem is, I'm not sure I like the avalanche side here uh, in this game. This is a team that's not playing good right now they've lost five of their last six the only win was to hapless chicago in a brutal spot second night of back-to-back games for chicago on the road in altitude off the brent seabrook thousand career game night that's the only win for uh, colorado in their last six games the barlamov out for the season they've really sorely missed eric johnson i mean eric johnson's really not been that elite level defenseman since he was drafted in that first round years and years ago but he's still an important defenseman on this Colorado team and him being out there has really hurt them they've given up uh, 11 goals in their last three games combined on this California road swing all of them losses to Anaheim LA and San Jose Bernier's just Bernier's good to stick in there for a game once in a while and he can give you a good performance he's just not a consistent go with guy game in and game out he's just not often going to do that for you he had one nice run of extended play earlier this season where he actually was really playing well for six seven games in a row but he's not being able to replicate that right now uh and these are the biggest games pressure games and we're not seeing Bernier rise up to that challenge right now uh, for the Colorado Avalanche. Bad rebound control and a couple of these goals that I've seen go in against him uh, this past week as well. He's letting out juicy, fat rebounds in front of the net. That can't happen. Uh, that's bad news. Problem is, you've got goaltending on the other side that I've got concerns about. You've got Hutton trying to play through a recent injury that Allen's been so poor lately that uh, here's Mike Yo sticking Carter Hutton in there last night when he's coming off an injury. Uh, yet you probably have to because at least with Hutton, I saw better defensive structure from St. Louis last night, better defensive play in front of Carter Hutton than maybe what they had with Allen because they didn't have the confidence. They were a little shaky uh, in front of Allen, who has been struggling the last few games. So uh, I fully expect, even though it's back to back for St. Louis, that Mike Yo is going to go right back to the well with uh, Carter Hutton tonight after he was g- getting them the win uh, against the Chicago Blackhawks last night. So uh, I think that's what you're going to see a Hutton versus Bernier matchup in that. Uh, I'm not betting this game side or total. I don't trust St. Louis back to back, but I'm not laying minus 135 with Colorado. I mean, their home record's been great, but this is not a minus 135 team to lay with right now. Team that's, you know, facing pressure of trying to get in and they're not reacting to that pressure and then rising up to that pressure very well uh, the last few games. So sidewise, I'm totally out of this game, but I will be watching it. Uh, very interested to see what happens. Uh, lean slightly ever. I think honestly, when a push comes to shove, St. Louis will get in. Uh, I still think you got to get, you got to trust St. Louis defensively just a little bit more than Colorado. The key is take Rontanen, McKinnon, Landeskog out of the equation. Make sure you clamp down on them. Uh, if you're the St. Louis Blues tonight, you're probably going to have a good chance because secondary offense from Colorado sometimes can be a problem. Tyson Jost has actually played pretty well uh, lately for them, Kerfoot at times, but take away Landeskog, McKinnon, and Ranton and keep them uh, off the score sheet. You know, neutralize them to a certain degree. You've got a decent chance here uh, if you're St. Louis, but it's a great game. You don't often get these. Last game of the regular season, game 82, two teams head-to-head trying to get into the playoffs, trying to get that final spot. Be a lot of fun. Can't wait to watch it. Uh, Dana Lane, this is his third and final game on the card. He's picked a big one, Colorado and St. Louis. Who's getting in, Dana, and what do you like here? It's absolutely incredible, the difference between the NHL and the NBA, and maybe I'm maybe it's just because I'm in it more in the NHL than I am in, in, in the NBA. But, you know, I mean, it comes down to, to this sort of game 
to to win and get in basically. But nobody's talking about the Wizards and the Bucks for for the last spot in the in the uh, or you know nobody's talking about the last spot in the East. I know the Wizards and the Bucks are you know within a half game of each other, uh, but nobody's talking about those sorts of games. And this is why the NHL to me it's so perplexing why it's not a bigger league than it is. I, and I think, in all honesty, that this league has certainly gotten a push this year. I think Vegas has given the NHL a, a much needed push. In fact, I. I thought before that the uh, that the NHL needed Vegas way more than Vegas needed the NHL, and I think that's worked out. But anyway, as far as this game is concerned, um, you know, you've said it all as far as uh, you know the the winner gets in, and uh, the the Abs are going to have some injuries with the Eric Johnson injury, and Barlamov is out, of course, uh, but they still do have Nathan McKinnon, who is in a little bit of a a scoring slump, not from an assist standpoint, but certainly from a goal scored standpoint, but he's, he's typically had pretty good games against the St. Louis blues. And this is a guy that has become one of the league's best peer scorers that maybe nobody knows about. I mean, I, if you like, if you line these two teams up and said, who's the best player, I think Tarasenko's name would probably come out a lot more than McKinnon, but um, this is a uh, this is a game where Colorado obviously has a home ice advantage, which has been very friendly to them. Uh, in fact, only Vegas and Winnipeg have won more games in the Western Conference at home than Colorado. And I think the difference between this game tonight is definitely going to be the play of the Colorado Avalanche special team. So uh, I'm on the Avalanche to win tonight. All right, Colorado. Dana Lane, big call because of the fact I remember months ago he talked about I love this St. Louis team and uh, one of the uh, teams that he was really fond of and could make a deep playoff run. But yeah, sometimes you see you see what plays out and you've got to change your opinion at times, and uh, that's the way it is. I, I agree. I mean, St. Louis has been hard to trust them. Uh, it's been a little blip of uptick of play, and then bam, it hits them again, and they go on a little bit of a funk again. There's been that lack of consistency, and really the uh, problems in the pipes have been a big issue. Uh, with the uh, St. Louis Blues. I mean, Allen and Hutton are just not these guys that are consistently for a long stretch of time able to excel and play uh, at their absolute best. Uh, like I say, and that's why we like having a show like this where you've got three, four guys. We all have different thoughts, different opinions. Some games we love, some games we don't. This is a game I absolutely do not like from a betting perspective. I, I can't touch this game at all because I don't trust the St. Louis side of the equation and I don't want to lay anything with Colorado in a pressure spot like this, which is something they haven't really been in a lot uh, over the years and, and especially lately they've not shown me a lot so it's a game that right away it's, it's the game of the night to watch but unfortunately for me betting it not loving it uh, but Dana likes Colorado if you want to tail that play there you go Dana liking Colorado to get the job done tonight uh, minus 135 although Dana are you betting this I gotta ask you this are you betting this in regulation I hope you are <laughs> I, I listen. I don't try to muddy things up too much. I mean, I think Colorado's gonna. I, I think they're going to have a two two goal lead anyway. I don't think it's gonna come down to. I I don't I I don't even have like in the apps I, I, that I have here in Vegas. I don't have that regulation option, so I don't really ah. look for it. There you go. Well, if you do get it, because the, 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 the Colorado's done. To stick a fork in Colorado, they're done if this game goes to overtime. They have to win this game uh, in regulation time. So if you've got that opportunity, regulation lines, three-way regulation line, if you can find it, most of the offshore books have it, uh, go for it because you're going to get a better price than the uh, minus 135 full game money line price that's uh, st- uh, uh, that's staring you out there right now uh, on the uh, Colorado Avalanche side. So again, regulation, uh, just my thought that if you like Colorado, take that option. Uh, if it is available to you. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.